Plastic is used all throughout our society as a cheap and efficient material, but it's not without its detriments. Today, we're taking a look at 15 terrible things caused by plastic. Number 15, the twisted turtle. We all know that plastic isn't exactly great for wildlife, but some animals definitely get it worse than others. One such example is Mae West, a snapper turtle who was found about 25 years ago in a New Orleans drainage canal. She got permanently disfigured when she walked through a plastic milk jug ring as a hatchling, causing her body to grow around it. Mae West developed a deformed hourglass shape and was only freed from the plastic cap after a woman by the name of Debbie Pearson rescued her. However, at the moment, she's currently being housed at a wildlife refuge known as Eco Center, allowing her to live a comfortable life despite her deformity. As a result, Mae West has clearly become a living reminder of the dangers of plastic pollution on animal species. Number 14, the bird butcher. Interestingly enough, our oceans are so polluted with plastic that as of now, about 80% of all seabirds consume plastic, with that number expected to be nearly 100% by 2050. Unfortunately, this truly is an existential crisis for these birds, as plastic can have a number of adverse health effects on them. Most notably, sharp pieces of plastic have the ability to puncture their stomach lining and slowly kill them, while birds that eat large quantities of plastic may have their bellies artificially filled with the substance, making them feel full when they're really starving. As a result, plastic has become an increasingly worrisome butcher of birds in recent years. Number 13, the seal silencer. By nature, seals are curious creatures and thus often find themselves in perilous predicaments when it comes to plastic. In particular, there have been countless cases of them getting stuck in plastic fishing nets, causing them to be unable to hunt or swim like they normally would. In fact, one particularly interesting case came in January of 2019, when two police officers were called in after a young seal was found trapped in bright green fishing net. Treating it as a life or death situation, they worked quickly to free the seal, with one officer cutting the netting while the other restrained the seal allowing the seal to soon escape his entanglement. It was thankfully then able to go back into the water plastic free. We guess this just goes to show that some police sergeants really have a soft side for seals. Number 12, the dolphin trap. When you think of dolphins, you most likely envision these large majestic ocean mammals leaping through the waves with unmatched grace and serenity. However, a piece of plastic quickly tarnished this image when in 2013 several Brazilian fishermen caught a baby dolphin who was trapped inside of a plastic bag on video. Using their nets to bring the dolphin in, they removed the dolphin from said plastic bag and when released even did a little dance and a wave to his rescuers. And while this video sure is heartwarming, it just goes to show how one small plastic bag can lead to life and death situations for marine mammals. Number 11, soil pollution. While soil pollution is definitely not one of the most widely discussed issues out there, the truth of the matter is that it's not only a very real threat to the health of our farms and forests, but that plastic is making its ill effects a whole lot worse. You see, when plastics are dumped in an area, they will eventually begin to break down, getting new physical and chemical properties in the process. This often results in harmful chemicals leaking into the surrounding soil, which can then seep into groundwater or other surrounding water sources. Thus, when people go out to try to grow plants in this soil, they will often not grow. And when they consume these plastics in their drinking water, they often become ill as a result. As such, proper disposal of plastics is certainly a must if soil pollution is to remain as minimal as possible. Number 10, global warming. While it's no surprise that plastic pollutes our earth, what many people don't realize is that it contributes to global warming. And unfortunately, it does so in several different ways. Now, perhaps the most obvious way is in its production. After all, 4% of the world's annual petroleum production is diverted to making plastic. And another 4% gets burned in the refining process. And therefore, the emissions that come from plastic production are pretty atrocious. However, to make matters worse, once said plastic is used, it's often sold and shipped over to developing countries such as Myanmar and Cambodia, who will then incinerate these bags and thus cause even more emissions. Yet even incinerated bags will often not be completely destroyed. And as such, the charred microplastics this process creates will then be dumped into the ocean. It's from there that sunlight and heat will then hit them for hours on end, causing much of the methane and ethylene within them to be emitted into the atmosphere, therefore polluting the environment a third time. As a result, it should come as no surprise that plastic is one of the worst air polluters on the planet. Number nine, the shark slayer. It goes without saying that sharks are a fearsome fish, 
as their killer instinct, insanely fast speeds, and large jaws are a menace to many. However, they're just as susceptible to plastic as any other marine animal, and various studies have been conducted that prove it. For example, a 2002 study found that between 1978 and 2000, an astounding 28,687 large sharks were caught in the nets used to protect bathers at popular swimming beaches in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. Yet beyond being caught in the nets themselves, it was found that 60 of them had ingested plastic debris, the most common items being packets or sheets. And while this number may not seem all that bad, this problem has slowly been getting worse as was shown in a 2013 study that the rate of plastic ingestion among Brazilian sharp-nosed sharks was at a shockingly high rate of 33%. As a result, while it's certainly true that plastics may not have been the biggest threats to sharks in the past, the future certainly does not look too bright for these precious predators. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Flood Fanatics Typically, when you think of the causes of a flood, large waves, heavy rainfall, or even clogged pipes are probably what comes to mind. However, it turns out that in many cases, plastic pollution could be at the root of these terrible events. You see, when plastic bags, bottles, and other objects are thrown out, oftentimes they will eventually end up in canals, water reservoirs, and drains. Therefore, if they're not cleared out, it's only a matter of time before they clog said waterway. As a result, if there's ever a huge surge of water, these flood drainage systems will often no longer be able to work, thus leading to massive floods that could be easily prevented. When you then consider that these floods often cause widespread destruction and numerous injuries and fatalities, it's clear that this plastic waste really is destructive. Number 7. Mosquito Mayhem Another unfortunate consequence of plastic clogging up the waterways is that they often lead to some major issues surrounding mosquitoes. This problem stems from the fact that when plastic clogs canals, drains, and other reservoirs, the water no longer moves and instead sits still, which of course attracts mosquitoes. However, due to plastic being in the area, mosquitoes will then begin to consume some of the plastic, leading to microplastic beads being present within their bodies. In fact, a 2018 study found that when mosquito larvae and mosquito adults were bred in a plastic-filled environment, all the tested individuals within the environment would have microplastics in their body, with mosquito larvae having an average of 3,002 micrometer-wide beads inside of them, while mosquito adults had a much smaller but still considerable average of 40 beads inside of them. As a result, when other animals such as fish and frogs eat them, then they consume the plastic by proxy, leading to plastic eventually being brought right up the food chain. It's therefore true that this synthetic material can easily lead to the preventable death of many species. Number 6. Infertility Influencer While polyurethane plastic protection may be one way to ensure that you don't create a child, it turns out that plastics can also affect your fertility in ways that are a little less desirable. That's because plastics often contain a destructive chemical known as bisphenol A, or BPA. This compound is a weak synthetic estrogen, and it's found in many rigid plastic products, food and formula can linings, dental sealants, and on the shiny side of paper cashier receipts. And unfortunately, if recent studies are to be believed, BPA can affect fertility in both males and females. In males, BPA's status as a synthetic estrogen means that it can increase levels of estrogen in the body. In fact, lab tests using rats showed that after consuming BPA, these animals would often develop reproductive disorders and lower sperm counts. Hence, it would not be a stretch to say that the same could happen in humans. In females, BPA's status as a synthetic estrogen messes with real estrogen levels inside the brain, causing a decrease in the number of follicles, which results in less mature eggs which can then ovulate and be fertilized. And with some research suggesting that women with twice as much BPA in their bloodstreams will have half as many viable eggs, it's clear to us that BPA and fertility are two things that certainly don't go hand in hand. Number 5. Cancer Causers Although the science behind this is still a little shaky, there are some studies out there that suggest that chemicals from plastic can potentially cause cancer. And while sipping from a plastic bottle likely won't do you much harm, if a piece of plastic is exposed to the elements for a long enough period of time, it could potentially leak out and put you into contact with the aforementioned destructive chemical known as BPA. Now, what makes BPA cancerous is the fact that its estrogen-like activity makes it a hormone disruptor, as it often blocks or mimics hormones and thus throws off the body's hormonal balance. 
Thus, because estrogen can make hormone receptor positive breast cancer develop and grow, BPA is likely something that you would want to avoid. To make matters worse, BPA also seems to affect brain development in the womb. In fact, a 2011 study found that pregnant women with high levels of BPA in their urine were more likely to have daughters who showed signs of hyperactivity, anxiety, and depression, with these symptoms being seen in girls as young as three. As a result, we suggest being careful around plastics that have been left out for too long, unless you'd like to risk consuming some of this cancerous chemical. Number four, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. While most people know that our oceans are polluted with garbage, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch proves the extent of this damage is much greater than you may think. Made up of two distinct patches that consist of one on the west coast of the United States and one on the east coast of Japan, the garbage patch is in fact a product of a much larger system known as the North Pacific Subtropical Gyre. Made up of four vortexes which are commonly known as the California Current, the North Equatorial Current, the Kuroshio Current, and the North Pacific Current, these essentially work to cycle plastic around the North Pacific in a never-ending loop. Now, the exact expanse of this garbage patch is difficult to determine, as it's not only too large for scientists to trawl, but has garbage located anywhere from the very surface of the ocean to the very bottom. Yet it's estimated that its total weight far exceeds 1 million tons, with about 80% coming from land-based activities and 20% coming from boaters, offshore oil rigs, and large cargo ships, with the majority being composed of fishing nets. However, due to a process known as photodegradation, they don't always appear in their full shape and size, but rather in a broken down microplastic form that makes the ocean appear like a cloudy plastic soup. As such, it should come as no surprise that these plastics are extremely dangerous to marine life. And while dangers such as turtles mistaking plastic bags for jellyfish or seals drowning in forgotten fishing nets are not uncommon, perhaps the largest threat of them all is not the large pieces of plastic, but all of the decomposed microplastics that's because these actively absorb the sun, causing algae and phytoplankton below to be deprived of the energy they need. Thus, as these populations begin to die out, the entire ocean food chain could be severely rattled as a result. Yet, it may be too late to eliminate this potent patch, as it's been estimated that even if 67 garbage cleaning ships were to work non-stop on the project for a year, it would still clean up less than 1% of the North Pacific's plastic. As a result, we will need to cut our consumption significantly if we hope to do away with this gargantuan garbage patch. Number three, fracking phenomena. As far as extracting natural gases go, few processes are as destructive as fracking. In essence, the process begins by having a long pipe drilled down to about 3.2 kilometers below the surface into a sandstone and shale deposit. From there, plastic balls are first forced down the well opening sleeves in the sandstone in order to create multiple cracks. From there, water is pumped through these cracks at extremely high pressures, causing the sandstone to burst. From there, the oil-rich shale that is around it seeps into these cracks and into the pipes, allowing this oil to pump upwards and be collected above ground. The wastewater that comes up with it is then pumped down into a disposal well, being dumped into underground water deposits far under the surface of the earth. Unsurprisingly, this invasive process pollutes the water, soil, and air with toxins, creates underground cavities that can collapse into sinkholes, and raises the pressure in underground rock formations which causes them to destabilize and at times experience earthquakes. As a result, despite this technology really only coming into widespread use in the mid-2000s, it's very likely that it will have devastating effects on the Earth's natural landscapes in the coming decades. Now, you still may be wondering what plastic has to do with fracking. Well, as we mentioned in the intro, about 93% of plastics are created using natural gas. As a result, in a somewhat ironic twist, after plastic is created from the oil taken out of a fracking operation, it will often go on to pollute the earth even further as a result of its life as a plastic product. Number two, our bodies. While it may be gut-wrenching to think about, it turns out that plastic pollution is not just limited to our environment. That's because multiple recent studies have found that in recent years, people have been consuming a concerning amount of microplastics. These microplastics, which often come in the form of tiny fragments, pellets, beads, fibers, and film, can be made up of a number of different materials with hundreds of different chemical additives. And unfortunately, it's not as if we are only consuming small quantities of them. After all, a recent study in the journal Environmental Science and Technology found that the average human consumes 39 to 52,000 microplastic particles a year. 
with that number going up to about 74,000 when you include microplastics ingested from the air. And that's not to mention that an additional 90,000 would be added to that number if a person consumes bottled water daily. However, what is perhaps most alarming of all is that scientists don't really know the effects of these microplastics on our bodies. After all, due to microplastics coming from a variety of different sources, not all of them are created equal, and as a result, some are more harmful than others. Additionally, scientists are not sure if all of them accumulate in the body or not, and some may simply pass through without doing any harm. Yet if we look at the data that's available, it isn't exactly promising. For example, in a 2017 study out of King's College in London, hypothesized that the cumulative buildup of microplastics could be toxic. And in 2018, researchers at Johns Hopkins University found that eating seafood contaminated with microplastics could damage the immune system and upset one's gut. So, what are we to do? Well, while it's near impossible to completely stop consuming microplastics, this consumption can be reduced. For by using less straws and bags and drinking tap water instead of bottled beverages, you can limit your plastic exposure and protect your health and our environment while doing it. Number 1. The Whale Slayer It goes without saying that whales are beautiful and majestic creatures, and for the most part, they do pretty well when they're consuming a diet of plankton and small fish. However, in recent years, plastic has become increasingly mainstream in a whale's diet, and this has led to some disastrous consequences. Now, while the amount of whales who die each year thanks to plastic intake is still unknown, one of the most notable examples of plastic intake directly leading to a whale's death occurred in the Philippines. The story goes that in early 2019, a juvenile curvier-beaked whale was seen swimming around the Davao Gulf in distress. Maciated-looking, vomiting blood, and listing badly as it swam, it wasn't long until the whale died, and at this point it was brought to the Davao Natural History Museum for a necropsy. It was there that experts discovered about 40 kilograms worth of plastic bags inside of the whale's stomach, with all of them being scrunched up as densely as baseballs. Accumulating over time, the experts believe that it was this plastic that caused the whale to die of dehydration and starvation, as the whale could not digest properly with all of this plastic inside of it. To make matters worse, they found that the entire time the whale's body was destroying itself from the inside, with its stomach acid eating away at its stomach lining, because it could not break down the plastic bags. As a result, they concluded that the whale must have died a very painful death. Yet, this hasn't been the only whale found with plastic inside its stomach. For be it the pilot whale found dead in Thailand after consuming 80 plastic bags in 2018, or the Scottish sperm whale found dead with about 100 kilograms of plastic in its stomach in 2019. What these instances show is that plastic is starting to become a deadly problem for whales worldwide. That's all we have for you today, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Let us know which one of these facts you thought was the most disturbing. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so that you never miss out on any of our latest content. Until next time.